What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today we are going to go for Espen Dungeon and I am pretty excited for that to be honest. Um, I think we can make huge progress, I've already prepared the team, we can have a look at it, we are going to run my T5 SFX, 8 tier, all the good stuff, giant killer, full sublimations and we are going to run A and B with speed attack stone. Uh, speed enables and mark purify, mark purify mainly because of uh, Amra. Yeah, like one healing curse and she's dead. So kind of want to avoid that. And we have to have we have to be careful a little bit because of this. Um, we can't really let SFX run into some tricky waves with a lot of CC. Uh, last time I did this, I got slaughtered by an LFA because the LFA was just faster than her. And um, yeah, she got horrified and um, then the energy drain from, from Espen happened and uh, yeah, didn't end too well. <laughs> uh, we are running crit chance, crit damage, precision. And as a second carry, we are going to run uh, Ferric Vessa, just a small bit of sublimation, just the active skill basically unlocked here. And uh, also the speed attack stone with the A and B and here we run control purify. And um, so basically the idea is that Vesa will deal with control heavy waves while uh, SFX deals with just everything else. And we don't really have to avoid a whole lot of stages because of that. Um, we can really basically clean everything with those two. We will take two Sherlocks with uh, Receptors. Uh, into the fight. Basically those guys can deal with 1v1 situations when we don't want to set um, SFX. And also, which is pretty nice, you can throw a demon potion on them and they can actually do some pretty pesky waves like um, Fairy Queen Vesa Oberon is I think a wave. Super annoying. But if you get like the, um, the CC with them and um, with you Look at the active skills actually deals damage against two random enemies and if you can do both both enemies you are basically done and we don't really have anything for the fifth slot not really anything good um i don't think we will need it i think uh, the moment our, both, uh, our two homeowners are dead we are basically done anyway we'll take freya um she has some dodge can be nice and yeah, let's see. Uh, first, big RNG point, of course, always in such uh, such situations. Um, how many demon potions are we going to get? Last time I tried, I got four, which is horrible. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping for a bit more. Let's see. Uh, eight. It's double what I got last time. Can't really complain about that. Uh, and yeah, we have to be a little bit careful. That's an Amra wave, but we can go with Sword Flash, as I said. Um, we have the Purify, the proper Purify. And yeah, um, with all the good stuff we have on her, the dodges are actually quite huge. And every kill that grants us impeccable flow will also grant us energy. So that's quite nice. Beyond that, we have double dodges means um, we have a 25 percent chance actually um, to double up on our dodges uh, which is quite nice and can save us in a lot of situations nice got the clean up there and the reflect didn't kill us which is also great this is a very scary stage to be honest and this is the one that killed me this is the one that killed me that is such a mean wave um I can tell you why it kills me. This SFX has over 2400 speed. It should absolutely be able to, I think it's 2485. It should absolutely be able to be faster than LFA. It should, it isn't. And the reason for that is that um, the heroes are bucked between five, uh, 50 and 100. Afterwards, she will be faster again, but between 50 and 100, this isn't the case. So um, what basically happens is this LFA outspeeds you, um, horrifies her with a special horrify and um, afterwards the two Annabelles put her the skill effect on SFX which basically blocks her active skill and at this point you get energy drained you can't use a basic skill you can't use an active skill you can basically do nothing and this is absolutely mean and an absolutely disgusting wave and um, 
will be something we have to be a little bit careful about. And the thing is, uh, our our Fairy Queen vessel will also be slower. We will use the Demon Potion here. I, I, I absolutely hate this wave. I hope we can clear it with uh, Vessa because we won't get energy drained actually. So that's um, something, but still an absolutely scary wave. Uh, we can't do we can do nothing about this uh, this skill effect. This is like not purifiable. Um, so kind of a mean one here. Uh, I hope we can burst through. Of course, we are attacking the Fiona, which is basically the one that doesn't matter at all. And um, we just have to hope to not get horrified, but the uh, chance of Aspen to horrify is actually ginormous. Um, we are super tanky, but we are also already on round 11, so we might lose the Fairy Queen Vessa here, because she's also not attacking. Yeah, this wave is honestly, this wave is just mean. Um, we have shields, we have everything here. We can't do anything to avoid this stage. Um, can't outspeed it, we can't outstat it. There is nothing, really nothing we can do. Um, the only thing you can hope for is that you slowly burst yourself through the Fiona and now our actor skill will actually hit that Aspen. No, it will hit the Annabelle. Uh, oh, we got a proper actor skill, okay. That one was really scary. That one was really scary, and they they have to fix that. It can't be the case that you that it doesn't matter how many stats you have, which stats you have, that you can't outspeed this. This is uh, not good. Uh, also, this stage um, is a stage we can't run with SFX because as soon as we have one of those uh, Oberon seats on her, um, she will basically die. So that's something we uh, don't want. Um, we can still use SFX, maybe get the heal. Should be possible, yeah, nice. And we kill her with the dodge. The dodge, um, by the way, buffed by... Uh, that should not be a scary wave. Um, by the way, buffed by the um, sublimation and now deals an awful lot of damage. The extra damage, that is. Um, the extra damage, this one, exactly this one that happens after the dodge, uh, up to 5,000% of attack damage and twin, uh, it is based on the enemy life, so 25% of the enemy life and up to 5,000% of attack damage. So absolutely huge. Um, and you can see that with those dodges, here you see it, 358 million and um, like 158 million with the uh, first dodge. So um, kind of insane. Um, we should honestly be absolutely tanky enough to uh, burst through Oberon stages with the Ferrokin Vessa um, without any problems. Then again, we have a lot of waves still before us, um, that being the first one of those. Uh, we will go into it with, with SFX. Main thing that I'm scared of is the Penny, and um, sometimes you can deal with the Penny even with dodges, um, because if you get two dodges on the kill on the Gustin, then she will dodge two times into the Penny, and the Penny will actually die, and Reflect won't be an issue. Um, then we have this one. I don't see... Should not be any problem. We have Dazzle. I don't think it will be a problem. Let's see. If impeccable. Um, doesn't really help us because of the Dazzle. Makes it look a bit weird, but yeah, we are, we are way too strong. We are way too strong. It's no problem at all. Then again, we are only at Purgatory 60. My last record was 82. Uh, I think that's Curate with the 49. <laughs> Damn. Damn! Um, and this one is a little bit annoying. At least it would be if we would run the Ferrokin Vessa, but we are running SFX. Um, so I don't think this will be a huge problem. We will see. Uh, so dodges, but the good thing, our dodges are bigger. So, yep, that's it. <laughs> we just need one extra dodge. It can be a bit tricky, of course. Uh, as you see, our life is quite low, so it's, it is still a scary stage. don't want to say anything else. Um, but the dodges uh, with, the active, uh, with the sublimation for the third, uh, for the second passive, that is. I always say third pass passive, but it's the second passive. Um, it's quite great. Now we have to think about this one. Now we have to think about this one. Uh, 
I think we can run SFX, but we should use Max Life SFX. Still, that's a stage I haven't encountered. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, the dodge of set star spawn. Thanks, coming in clutch here. That's what we want. Uh, and this one is nothing. This one isn't isn't scary for us. And the good thing is, SFX basically can't go out of a fight with lower than 50 HP because we have the uh, sublimation for the third passive skill and the third passive skill sublimation gives us um, 50 energy on gaining impeccable flow. So as we will always gain impeccable flow on the last enemy we kill in a fight, we will always end up with at least 50 energy after every fight, which is quite nice. Uh, does at least mean we don't need two rounds to gain um, to gain an active. We'll just be basically if we can get a kill with the basic. The next thing we do will be an impeccable flow active. So that's quite nice. Uh, and another SFX stage. Uh, Vesa can deal with that one, but uh, we will just use SFX. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. The Drake is already dead. Um, if we can. Oy! That SFX is hitting hard. That SFX is hitting scary hard. That SFX is hitting much harder than the other SFX. That was actually very scary. <laughs> what is up with those stages? What is this run? It's like SFX after SFX after SFX after SFX. That's like basically the game doesn't want me to clear it. Oh my god. That's like not okay. That's really not okay. Uh, then again, at least this SFX doesn't have a chance to kill us at all. So, I mean, I think I, sh I shouldn't complain, but it's like for every other person, this would be horrible. This would be absolutely horrible. And for, for most people that don't have like an SFX like this, uh, an SFX wave is usually run ending. If you get like SFX wrong, yeah, that's it, go home. Um, or hope for, for the dodge of set star spawn, which just like doesn't happen. So, um, but with, the, with this SFX, we at least can kill the other SFX. So that's something. Um, can this be scary? Can be. Can be a little bit scary. Um, we have Mark Purify. It's no problem. I forgot. I forgot we have Mark Purify and we have Energy. So um, no problem at all here. Uh, Saja Waves can actually be annoying. Let's use the Ferric Vessel here. Uh, don't really want to get stunned. Wouldn't be too cool if we get stunned on the SFX. Um, I think we have an active. Yeah, we have an active on the Ferric Vessel. That's cool. Uh, that should be no problem to deal with the Sword Flash. So let's do that. Conserve the active on the Ferrokin Vessa, um, and we have to see how far we can go. Uh, people are nearing 200, on, um, I saw on some players' accounts. Uh, so that's that's quite interesting. Um, the question is, do we want to deal with, uh, with that with SFX? I don't think so. That's like a crit line stage, and the Ithacas can't deal damage to Ferrokin Vessa uh, when she has a shield, which is actually an interesting kind of mechanic. Um, but the... Damage to the shield actually counts as zero damage for um, Ithaca's passive skill, which gives Ferric, would give Ferrokin Vessa a dot based on the damage dealt. But damage to the shield doesn't count, so she doesn't gain some awfully huge um, Ithaca dot, which would be scary, of course. Um, but of course, doesn't happen here. Um, I think I want to do that with Ferrokin Vessa. Um, yeah, in hindsight. Or it worked out. It worked out. I thought like the active would kill it, but it didn't. So now we have an active on Ferric Invest and an active on SFX, which is already nice. Hmm. Don't you want to use either one and I don't want to use the Sherlock's. I don't think our, Fer our Freya has a chance. Um, but we can try. Let's just try it. Maybe she can kill it. It's, it's a little bit of dodge energy. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. We have a shield. We have some damage, we have some poison. Doesn't look too bad, honestly. I mean, she's taking damage, not really doing a whole lot of damage. 
Uh, I think even the enemy Sherlock is doing a whole lot more damage here. Uh, yeah, oh, so sad. He was so low. But I think if we throw a um, Sherlock in there now, it's basically goodbye for our Sherlock. Uh, so let's use the SFX. Uh, what a waste. What a waste. Should have dodged one more time. Um, could have made it easier for us. I don't think the uh, carry reflect can actually kill us. So let's do it like this. Yeah, and we got an active skill ready. And killed her with the dodge. And another SFX stage. That's like the fifth, sixth one. I don't know. I don't even remember. So horrible, guys. But I mean, like, it, it works. And um, this stage is actually not even scary for us because we just deal more damage and um, the SFX and the enemy team deals less. So, yeah, we get through it. And I think we can do that for quite some time in that way. So, shouldn't really be a problem for us. Um, we will recover life anyway, so no reason to use any kind of potions. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Going out there with full energy. Oh, haven't seen that one yet. Holmes Young. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, can he kill us? Does he have any mechanic to kill us? I think he will be prey for us. No, I don't think he can kill us. He has a skill effect, which can be... Oh, he's... Of course he's fast. I always forget that. I always forget that they are fast. Uh, I think that's an SFX stage. Armor ignoring is perfect uh, against Sigmund. He has high armor stat. So, SFX can deal with that one quite well. Uh, then we have this wonderful stage, the only scary part here being the Gustin, and of course, we don't like to see an Annabelle. Um, let's see, we of course couldn't get the kill, um, but it should should work out, I think. Yeah, we get the heal of the basic, so now we are fine. But still, so it's not comfortable, <laughs> let's say it like this. <laughs> it wasn't very nice. Should have looked better, even though we get out of the fight with full life and full active and everything is looking fine. During the fight, this wasn't really the case. Um, yeah, that is, that is looking quite fine. And we even get the full energy. It's astounding um, how many fights we can clear with the full... That's, that's FX stage number 6, 7? I don't know. I forgot to count it. We should have counted it. Maybe someone can write it in the comments under the video how many SFX stages we actually faced. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's like a run that you really shouldn't work. The game didn't want us to do anything here and uh, progress in any way, shape or form <laughs> by the number of SFX they throw against us. That's so, that's just crazy. That's really just crazy. This is another SFX, this is another SFX stage, and it's a stupid one. It's it's the one that nearly killed us last time. Uh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Why is every stage SFX? <laughs> okay, the, the Drake is done. And, of course, into Unbending Will, we know. And now we go into the... into the dodge battle. So, now we should be safe. Um... Good thing is the enemy SFX doesn't have a dodge offset star spawn, so <laughs> that's something. Would be quite scary if she had. But uh, scary enough. Honestly, scary enough. I think the difference mainly between this SFX and the other SFX are the, really the two rogues. She gets a huge crit damage buff, a huge attack buff and a huge crit buff. And again with this stage! Holy, I think we are going to use a demon potion. I don't want this Drake in the enemy team to survive. We could kill one wrong, so maybe it looks less scary now. It looks entirely the uh, same scary. But we still have one layer of unbending will left, which we didn't have last time, so that's good. And uh, I think it's number 8. 
Uh, somebody has to write it in the comments. The amount of SFX in this run, truly off the charts. Uh, I was pretty surprised when I first saw this mysterious egg. A pretty nice catch-up mechanic, honestly, for people just starting with the game or coming back um, that want to progress a little bit through the uh, star spawns, go a little bit faster there, can buy some X here and do it basically. Uh, should be doable for our SFX. I was considering using um, using uh, Ferric Investor, but we don't need her for this. Nice impeccable flow active into full energy now again. And here we have a Ferric Investor with an Armin Ra. Uh, Armin Ra is basically not doable for our Ferric Investors. So we need SFX here actually. And we have full energy, so that's something could get the kill on the um, on the Armin Ra, which is nice. And now this is basically safe. And I don't know if you've seen it, like at the beginning of the fight after we killed the Armin Ra, uh, there was an S uh, SFX dodge with the extra attack that dealt huge damage. It's quite insane. Um, yeah, we can do this with, with SFX. Now for 90, and this is a kill going out to the fight with 50 energy, which isn't too great. A single stage would maybe uh, be nice. This is okay as well. Can definitely progress with this stage. And uh, we are nearing the 100 mark. And if I heard correctly, and um, that's fully hearsay at this point, um, then actually after 100, the bug with the um, Transcendence Heroes being super fast and basically every time faster than we are um, is no longer the case and they are slower again so this changes quite a lot uh, the same stage again and we again have full energy again the ferro investor will be faster than we are we are getting the kill getting a dodge again and it works entirely the same way <laughs> nothing different here in this fight absolutely consistent very nice and again getting the kill. The nice thing about SFX is also that we can ignore the armor buffs from the enemy panda, so can slay right through that. And this is a very annoying stage, and uh, last time I actually did this for this. Maybe we can try that again. Maybe we can try that again. Um, because there are only two enemies, and as long as nobody's breaking out, we can speed that up. Um, we are safe, uh, as soon as somebody breaks out, though, we are very dead. We are very dead. And um, the nice thing about this, of course you need the demon potion, uh, but you're not really risking a whole lot, because if a Sherlock dies, you haven't seen, uh, really seen me use a whole lot of Sherlocks yet. Um, so that's a very safe strat to do this. And here again, uh, we go again. Fairy Queen Vessel stage with an Annabelle. Nobody likes that. Um, but I'm honestly pretty sure we are fine here. Um, Annabelle alone is no risk for us. So quite an easy stage in hindsight. Uh, then we have this one. Like it will work with SFX, even though it's sad to lose the active. Um, no risk in here. And we have um, Inosuke. Maybe we are... No, we are not. I was hoping for uh, maybe some energy to have a full active skill after this round. And uh, again, an SFX stage. <laughs> Just fighting SFX... SF, SFX to st uh, ah! Uh, we're just fighting SFX today, it seems. Uh, should work out, I guess. The A and B uh, doing a pretty good job at mitigating the damage of the heroes in Aspen Dungeon. Then again, we have to say most of the damage those guys do is rather low, actually. Like something 10, 15 uh, million. Uh, unless, you, of course, you face the one SFX stage with like two rogues and a drake. That one's different. That one's different. Um, we can definitely use our... SFX here, the question is, do we want to go for a demon potion? I reckon we don't have to. Full life would be nice, though. Um, with the demon potion, of course, we would have guaranteed the kill on the Armin Ra, um, 
but it's not really important to get it turn one as we have mark purify if you don't run mark purify of course you absolutely need to get the kill on turn one on this armorer um, because otherwise you are very dead with sfx haven't seen this stage yet um, i think that's a good place for our ferric investor and her already loaded active skill um, which didn't do too much damage um, but can definitely clear the stage. And then we have the double Oberon stage. We will also use Ferry Vesa for this one. Uh, Vesa did already clear that stage before, so I think we should be good on this one. And um, now, basically, Purgatory 100 against a single Sire, something we definitely like to see. And uh, we will do it with Ferry Vesa, as I said, Sire is a CC hero even though she will likely not be able to hit our SFX. Um, I said we use the Ferric Investor against CC heroes and of course we will do. Uh, that's a bit of a nasty one to be honest because that Olivia will swap speed with whoever we face on that board, um, which will likely mean that um, the hero we face there will be slower than the enemies and of course being slower as the Sherlock can become a problem. Um, considering the heroes in this stage, I still want to use SFX, even though I want to use a demon potion for safety. Now there is no more CC in this round. So, um, oh, there's, there's still is a bit of CC. There still is a bit of CC. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That's that's nasty. That's nasty. We uh, lose attack because of the uh, because of the ticks. That's nasty. Okay, um, but we made it to one hundred, even though I just screwed our run, uh, which wasn't intentional. I just forgot about the ticks attack swap. That's that's like the mean part of this. Um, of those runs always like having to consider um, some things always have to consider like does this one enemy have some mechanic that might screw us in the fight and um, then can just happen that you forget that there is another mechanic um, that one of those heroes has um, and that you didn't think about I just thought about the speed swap um, that Olivia can do and didn't even consider that um, that there is also a ticks and that this ticks might actually be a problem um, and might severely screw with our damage because ticks in Aspen Dungeon is actually a problem um, because he doesn't have a low uh, a lot of attack. Um, this will be interesting to see though. Let's use the demon potion and see if we are faster than that Eos and the um, enemy team. We indeed are. We indeed are. So it's absolutely true what I heard about this, that the um, that the Transcendence heroes are now no longer faster than us. At least this Eos isn't. Um, so that's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, and then we have this stage. I haven't really thought, uh, thought this one. Um, could probably have been cleared by SFX if our SFX wasn't absolutely dead. Uh, let's use the demon potion. Uh, we are basically done with this run. Next time um, we might be able to clear 150. Um, it's nice though to see that the LFA is now no longer faster than us. Um, if you remember this was a big problem uh, just a few fights ago uh, when we fought the one stage I considered really scary with the two Annabels, the Fiona and the um, LFA. And now this is no longer the case. So definitely a bug on the age side with the speed of the transcendent zeros between 50 and 100 makes um, the stages between there more of a roadblock than they actually should be. And um, so in, I think they should definitely look into fixing this. Um, otherwise, a lot of people will be stuck there for quite a long time. Uh, don't think there is a chance we clear this with Sherlock's, so we can skip battle here. And now we are done. Could improve our score uh, from 82 to 104. And uh, next time we will start at 100. So kind of huge progress we made there. Yeah, guys, and with that, um, one last thing I want to add. 
um, both the SFX and the um, and the Ferry Vessa were in a max home with full level 105 slots. So if you were wondering about the homes, that's it. Uh, pretty decent tenants for the most part, um, with like B or B plus attack, sometimes even A minus attack. Um, so pretty solid heroes here. And um, if you want to try the SFX, uh, I saw people clear 50 without an A tier. So that's definitely possible and I think only a matter of time till uh, 100 is possible as well without an A tier. Might even already be possible, maybe some of you can try and write that in the comments. But with that guys, I want to end the video and we will see us in the next one.